My God, what are they feeding that kid? The girl, Charlotte, she is not a MILF. She is, I don't want to know her age. We don't talk about that. She's huge. Great. Um, we have a new character though. Our group is pretty, pretty much all for him, right? So there's like the Hunter brothers and then the Hunter brothers also had another brother who's like a super like smart kid, but didn't understand how to utilize his you know potential because the dad felt it was wasted. The whole story with the dad and the Hunter family, so wholesome, so heartwarming. So it's like the, 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 the story, this anime just keeps showing me how like beautiful it is and talking about different circumstances. Before it was different, you know, socioeconomic statuses struggles of poverty and now it's just like a family that had so much you know like regrets on how he, the dad was like i didn't utilize you well enough and you could just leave it's like no i'll be back for you dad it's very hard time it's very touching now i think we have our actual group form because in the opening it shows you know ritz it shows charlotte and it shows that orange are kid and then we have ours right i think it's time for the actual time skip to happen which means that dad might die then again who knows maybe you got some other stuff to do before that let's begin today's reaction though <laughs> Four seconds fucking in. My father has taken him. Just, come on. Come, come. I know we I, we know that he dies in episode one. But like, bro, as soon as he starts the episode, my father has taken him. He's only 36. Damn. He had reached when he was like fucking 25? 25? I, I guess people ate just differently in anime back in the day, huh? Okay, another governor died of illness. Succession war! Alright, so there is basically a civil war going on. It's like a succession war. Neither! We should rise to the throne! Who are we gonna support? New girl voice actor. Have you heard that before? I don't think so. We're getting married? Political marriage? Nine-year-old kid getting married off to the girl that's just coming in the carriage right there. In the opening, do I remember another girl? I don't remember another girl design. I forgot when I sold you off to the marriage. <laughs> so casual about it. The dad is actually so funny. Just because he's so serious sometimes, but then it's just like like that one time when Charlie used the magic and he was like, oh, okay, you're, you're allowed here. He's pretty funny with the timing, but I'm gonna die soon. Are these our little siblings? Because we had a brother and sister, right? Yeah, and a bunch of times could happen. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> a love letter? <laughs> you can be a concubine later, I guess. I don't fucking... <laughs> Ars, focus. Ars, where are your eyes looking? <laughs> the storm arrives. I mean, the weather's pretty bad, but is the storm also the wife? You should act normal. <laughs> it's just so bad around girls, bro. Hello, Rishia. It'd be hilarious if they, if we, okay, she's one year older than ours right now, but it'd be hilarious if the appraise, appraisal, one of these, you know, the stats, you know, it was like, you know how we always have leadership prowess and stuff like that? More like wife material, 100 out of 100. <laughs> Diplomacy ambition great. She's gonna be basically like a political diplomacy guy. She can just talk to anybody and just like purely through talking, she can convince everyone. What the fuck? Wait, what? <laughs> this is, the soundtrack right now is way too epic. The soundtrack is way too epic. The episode's called The Storm Arrives or something. She is gonna be cracked. She is gonna be just running this entire family, I think. Holy shit. I don't think she's sweet and gentle. Not that kind of Ojo-sama. No, not that kind of Ojo-sama. Okay, butler. Racist! 
she's fast. This guy, Johnson, he was almost about to say something off topic. He's like, oh, you fucking better be careful. Watch your mouth. She catches him immediately, realizes, nah, he is a renowned person here. You better not disrespect him. Immediately diffuses. You can already see the diplomacy at work. Damn! Apologize, yo! You get to see exactly what she's like, huh? She's fucking fast. The fuck? Let's go, mates. Very respectful. Honestly, I feel like our mansion isn't even that good. It's a little grungy, right? But like, she's very respectful, right? She's not gonna like insult. He's already kind of glazing. She's trying to get everyone on her side immediately. She's so good. Sauce Riz, now nah, you gotta you gotta wipe it for you need a person like this around, man. Cause like sometimes if you don't have a person that can keep the combo going, it just gets awkward and you're like, uh, uh and then the silence is just fucking deafening. So you need someone like her that can just like keep something going like a social presence. Now how different is this from Mushoku Tensei in season one? You know, Eris and Rudy at the end. You got a grown ass man back on Earth, right? And then they get reincarnated. They grow up as a child, but still has the mentality of an adult. And then meets a girl. Now she's 10 years old. Now ours is nine. Now, I, mean, I don't see anyone complaining about this show on Twitter because it's not Mushoku Tensei. People are more upset about fucking Mushoku Tensei, right? Like, I, like they're too busy with that shit, but the exact same thing is happening right now, right? Hmm? What the fuck, she knew? Yeah, can you control the weather? What was that? What the fuck was that? The timing was crazy. I didn't see weather forecast in part of the fucking appraisal stats. So that's what she meant when she says, nah, this is like meant to be. She can read the clouds. How the fuck does that work? I don't know. I feel very confident that she's here now because I know that the dad's gonna go away, right? And the leadership here is gonna kind of fail. And I bet the dad's not as good as Licia. Sorry, uh, this girl in, you know, just like talking, talking to you know, convince other people. Like her being here already makes me feel like safe. That once the dad passes, that there is someone around that can keep the politics at bay. It's crazy that I'm putting this much faith into a 10 year old girl. You competing with a 10 year old kid. Come on, Charlotte. Come on now. Is Charlotte 14 right now? I, I got it mixed up last episode. So there was a three-year skip between when we first met Charlotte and now. I don't know if Charlotte's 14 now or if she's 17 now. Because the implication was before when we first met her, she was 11. Three-year time skip, now she's 14. And then there's a little bit more time skip with the kids growing up, so she'd be like closer to 15, 16. I think that makes a lot more sense. <laughs> Oh, rumors gonna spread. An argument. Yeah, and then she's gonna figure it out. She's so fucking smart. She'll be able to defuse this situation immediately too. Nah, let Alicia do it. Alicia can do this. Incompetent boob? What kind of insult is that? What, what is a boob a fucking insult? This is some like back in the old days, some like, like, I don't know. Like, I've never heard boob as a fucking insult. <laughs> Say boob is a posh thing to say? Oh, you fucking stupid tit. <laughs> No, I don't think she's like a, an evil Ojo Sama at all, though. This is our, like, our jump into conclusions, right? She could be if she had like the curls. Maybe I'd be more inclined to think that if she had the curls, she would do the whole Ojo Sama laugh, but no, I don't think it's just like that. <laughs> there it is. There's the old. <laughs> Charlotte. No, 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 no. When you say stop the fight, you're talking about stopping their fucking lives, Charlotte. No, 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 no. We're not trying to solve it through fucking violence. We need to solve it through talking. <laughs> 
She can win Charlotte over. Charlotte's gonna fold. Alicia will figure something out. Glay Charlotte up. <gasps> the famous mage. I know all about you. And then it's gonna be, you know, big sister in a relationship. <laughs> easy. Yeah, all right. She's easy. Yeah, there it is. Easy, easy. Because <laughs> he realizes that you fucking folded off of one conversation until now you're like who is this fucking kid i'm gonna take her out oh oh you're a fan all right all right. show me how it's done Bishia. Oh, she already knows she's gonna win so would you do me a favor on top of that oh my god how many steps ahead is she thinking <laughs> ruin your handsome face <laughs> No disrespect, but at least she is. <laughs> sometimes the glazing is a little, a little fraudulent. Maybe, maybe they were, if they weren't fighting, they turn to absolute husband or something. They turn to Ikimans. What a polite bow. Bald? I saw a bald you there? She making a fucking hustle right now on top of that too. <gasps> and she gives the credit to ours to make sure that ours doesn't feel in like, I don't know, lessened here. Huh? She's actually too good, bro. She's like four steps ahead. Because if she took all the credit there and didn't give it to ours, then ours might feel threatened more. Bald! It's next, next level. Also, doesn't we have a favor now? We have a favor to do now. Also, it's sunset lighting! Oh, oh she folded. She's back. Huh, okay. She, she, she hasn't accepted just yet. What is this betrothed crap? <laughs> Must think you're pretty high, you little fucking cocky little bitch. <laughs> this is hilarious the beef Charlotte has. Okay, what's the favor? On the bridge, dude. Diplomatic girls. That's very smart. I don't know. Erifu! She is way too smart. Just be honest. <laughs> Tall girl with the big ass. That's my type. Yo, where's fucking Toto at? Tall girl, big ass. Okay. Alright, that's it? Wonder if she was testing him there. The favor. To figure out what kind of person he really is. Because this entire time, she has been, you know, solving everyone's problems. But it's like, the problem is not really... The problem being resolved, those two people being known, the arguments and stuff, that doesn't really matter. What matters is, like, how Aris perceives her right now. So this entire episode, Isha has been carefully, carefully, you know, positioning her image to see what does Aris think. So that answer right there also kind of proves to her that maybe he is worth to kind of, like, support. Let's go, Ritz! <laughs> Charlotte's become party trick like Aqua in Konosuba. What's in the bed there? Something's in the bed. That's not Rishia, right? Just a random bump in the bed, right? Is there someone in the bed right now? <laughs> Cheeky little girl, bro. What's up? <laughs> Okay, and then just to see the shock on his face, right? True, she is being honest about it, I guess. <laughs> oh, this is so lewd. It's like a fucking mind reader. Arus様が私に会った時に見せ初対面ですし違和感は持ちませんでした。それでも数分話せばある程度なのにアルス様の疑いは深くなって。She's been basically taking notes the entire today. 
アルス様は私の何をお疑いになられているのですか He just jumped to the conclusion based off of the Ojo Sama, you know, villainous trope. It's like, are you just gonna take my domain over, right? Because she's so smart. Her hand's shaking, man. Is this calculated? I don't know with this girl. I I is this like a calculated move to like look like shaking her hand right now? Someone as smart as her. Is she being honest or is this like a hand shaking? No, no, the whole point is she's trying to show how honest she is to ours right now. So this is real. Okay, secrets out. リシアさんには高い政治の才能、その行動すべてが計算によるものではないかとは何か目的があるのではないか信じていただけるかはわかりませんがいえ疑うわけございません信じていただけるのですか You believe my appraisal power? Unite the nation. What is it? Better not be something like, I want to be your husband. I mean, if that's what she wants. I mean, yeah, I guess that's cute, right? It's like, uh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. The only ambition a woman might have is for an amazing man to fall in love with her at follow first sight. Yeah, yeah, why not? Both of them are super saucy, nervous, man. Ah, uh, uh, why are you cocking me? What the fuck is this time scheme, Lishia, bro? Right, our domain is kind of just like pretty low tier, right? We're definitely not like the richest or most powerful house, but it's a good starting point, and I feel like we could rise to the top with Lishia's help. <laughs> she fucking damn. Fucking was, yeah, yeah, I know your house is fucking shitty. Don't worry, I'm here to fucking, you know, grow it. Don't worry. I'm <laughs> All right, girl. But she sees potential. Potential. I will grow that shit. Mm -hmm. That's so funny right now, how, like, the main character is the one that has the appraisal skill and is trying to scout people and, you know, understand their talent and grow them. But she's like, doing that to us. She's like, nah, I see potential than you are. I see the small domain, no name house. Don't worry about it. All I need is your group and we can fucking raise all this shit up together. That's still gonna die, but if Risha says so, you were able to gather those people. People really love ours here. That's what she was thinking. She's right. Having people love you for just being who you are, right? In, in those like leadership positions, right? He doesn't even need to try. He's just being his authentic self and people love him for it. She's, yeah, she's absolutely right about that. Rizzed. Oh, you're not sleeping over? <laughs> oh, no, I fucked that up with her. <laughs> thank you. I just said thank you. <laughs> she is fucking running off, man. She, she just has us in the palm of her hand. She, we're just fucking dancing. Now, I wonder if she's also going to have the same reaction outside. I hope she does. It would make fear feel a little bit more relatable and like more human if she also is like super embarrassed about all the things she just said outside. <laughs> <laughs> okay, she's peak. Okay, this is peak. She's probably one of the best characters right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's absolutely peak. If she didn't have this kind of reaction, I don't know. It would have felt like too cold and calculated because she is like a 10 year old girl, right? I know she's smart, but like to have this kind of response, just like how ours did, makes her a lot more sensible, a lot more relatable in a sense. Is she staying over or is she going back home now? It was just to meet for a while and then go back home, yeah? 
But she just basically sees them as a bunch of trash, and finally someone genuine as ours showed up. Ah, uh, this is where she understood, right? She saw some lowly girl in the hierarchy rise up because she married someone huge. So this is where she was kind of talking about the, the ambition to, to make like a guy just fall for her in the first sight. <laughs> You could escape this awful world of scheming and plotting. <laughs> By scheming and plotting, yes. It's kind of just like sad how like... And yes, this is a fantasy fucking show. You're in like the medieval fucking days, right? You know, we got fiefdom and lords and shit. But to reduce a girl's potential to be like, yeah, you can never really be anything. Unless you marry, a, you know, a powerful man. That kind of just like really is not empowering to women it just kind of makes them feel like they're just you know i don't know they're just fucking gold digger just looking for that but it is the way that you know culture was back then and it's something that she can use so she basically got coached by all the fucking deceptive people here she's like a genuinely good person but because of her talent of being able to kind of just like understand people's feelings and hidden intentions and being exposed to like such shitty people this is where she got all the boot camp to kind of guess like be really good at this game of like diplomacy <laughs> until i guess she met him today and saw how genuine he was despite repeated uses of my killer smile <laughs> killer smile guys killer fucking smile it kind of worked though everything Arsh's face today everywhere. <laughs> was he really making these faces? I guess he was. He was just super kind of nervous too though. Oh? Let me carry you, Riz. No, other shoes, Riz. What's he gonna get? Oh, that's what she had. She had that in the earlier episode. And then I didn't really know what that fucking was. But, oh, that's what this was. Oh, blister Riz, bro. Blister solving cream Riz. Oh my fucking god, he cares about how my feet's gonna feel walking on these shitty roads. Enchanted. <laughs> Now, this power that she keeps talking about, like, we don't know if it's, like, a fucking actual power or not. Because my understanding was she just naturally gifted in, in understanding, you know, social, uh, social interactions, kind of seeing body language, and then, then to kind of deduce what they're thinking. But, like, sometimes she just says, like, oh, God, thank you for giving me this power. I'm like, yo, is this an actual power like ours? Which I don't think it is. It's more like just, like, an innate talent. But it's just like the wording is like kind of, hmm. Does she have a skill? I, I don't know. That's where she comes in. There it is. Can't just say that while you have that killer smile. Alright, until next time then. They're 10 and 9, by the way. Don't say that. That's gonna die soon. Uh-oh. Wait, the succession has gone down? What the? I thought we had to step in, but it just kind of solved itself for now. No, we know he's gonna die. In the, in the beginning of the episode started off, my dad's falling ill. I'm like, ah, oh, this is it. It's a fucking over, but uh, it's getting better. It's getting better. Yay, but we know he's gonna die. Like, don't fucking bait me with this. That I love you. That you think that you want to marry. It's not that you want to. You think it's going to happen. Well, that's like the next time. Like whenever times get that happen. Not yet. Holy shit. Insane amounts of flags being raised in this last like two minutes. Like holy shit. Life is so good. All the problems are kind of gone. I can't wait. Like it's going to be so peaceful. Everything's going to be okay. <laughs> no, it's not going to be okay. And that's the episode. What a nice wholesome episode. And I was wrong. There was another character that we need to be introduced. I thought our roster was done. But no, in the opening there was Norisha that I didn't really uh, see. Because she was not, you know, standing beside ours in the quattro. She's a extremely smart, charismatic just just 
everything is just so good about her. She's insane. She's exactly what we need. We need someone that can be able to do diplomacy, to be able to smooth talk everyone, use their killer smile, and win them over through politics. And it's going to be great moving forward because, you know, dad's going to die. There's going to be chaos in this fucking kingdom. The whole last couple of minutes was an insane amount of flags about how dad's getting better. The succession war is going down. I can't believe it's so peaceful again. It's like, nah, bro, nah. Like, uh, fucking, this is the calm before the storm, even though it's funny how the storm was Lisha showing up today. Wonder how this is going to work because we're not going to see her for a while. Maybe we'll have another time skip next episode and boom, dad's going to be on his fucking deathbed, but we got to buckle in tight because... Salute, Mr. Ars's dad very soon. But that's it for me. If you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlists for more content. And until next time, take care.